Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me for the Fit for the Holidays series. This is a bonus workout that was inspired by a little fact I read that basically said the average person can consume enough fat to equal three sticks of butter on Thanksgiving. And that got me going and I did some calculating and I put this workout together to help you counter act those three sticks of butter <laughs> or the equivalent to the three sticks of butter that we're going to be eating on Thanksgiving. So this is easy. It's just 11 minutes of 11 different squats. You can do this every single day from now until Thanksgiving and you will effectively burn off the equivalent of three sticks of butter, the calories of three sticks of butter. All right, so you can enjoy Thanksgiving guilt-free knowing that you've already burned off all those calories. All right, all right, I'm gonna turn on my interval timer and we are going to get going. We're gonna start with your average squat, feet shoulder width apart, hips go back, at the top push your hips forward, nice. So we want to keep a good pace going. We're just using our body weight. Hey, if you want to burn a little extra calories, you can grab a set of dumbbells, you can grab a sandbag, you can grab a medicine ball, whatever. But doing just your body weight is enough. Whew, and I really do want you at the end of this workout to go check out the blog post because it breaks everything down. And so you can see why this workout is going to be effective for you. And we're not gonna get bored because it's 11 different squats. So the next one is gonna be a sidestep squat and it's exactly like it sounds. Start with your feet together. We're gonna step out wide to the right and squat and now to the left. There you go. Throughout our workout, I want you to remember to draw that belly button in towards the spine. Keep your shoulders back and relaxed and look at me the whole time. Because what happens? When we look down at our feet, we tend to want to round our shoulders and that's not good for our back. That's not good posture. So keep looking ahead. Whew. Right and left. You can always make it more challenging by hopping and having a squat at the end. You can do that with me if you want or you can keep it grounded. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Landing softly. What's our next one? Oh, one of my favorites. Plie squats, feet wider than hip width apart, toes turned out. Pretend that you're sliding up and down a wall, okay? Pretend that your back is up against a wall and you're just sliding up and down that wall. I love this one. It targets the inner thighs. Nice. As you come up, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze those glutes extra. And think about keeping ears, shoulders, hips in a line the whole time. <laughs> nice. Down and up, down and up. And again, if you wanna go quicker, you can, but you don't have to. Just to keep doing your best. And if you need breaks before the bell dings, that's okay. Take a five second break. Everybody starts from somewhere. Okay, our next one is a split squat. So, put your right foot in front, left foot behind. See how you have a split stance and squat down and up. <sighs> nice. So at the bottom, do you see 90 degrees and 90 degrees? You want your front knee right over your ankle. You want your back hips right over your knee at the bottom. Nice work. You got this, keep going. Down and up, hey, if you want it more challenging, you can take it to a little jump, but you don't have to. I'm going to, because why not? I like plyometrics, but I know it's not for everybody, so you don't have to jump if you don't want to. We have seven more seconds. Nice, shake it out. We're just gonna go to the other side. So now left foot comes in front, 
Right foot goes back. Remember at the bottom, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Here we go, down and up. Remembering to keep your chest open, abdominals in, shoulders down and back. And keep a challenging pace for yourself. You should be breathing harder, right? We want to keep it challenging. You got this. Hang in there with me. And if you want to do the plyometric version, you can, but you don't have to. If you're jumping, land softly and quietly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we are gonna do a chair squat next. Bring your feet together. Glue your inner thighs and your knees together. Go down like you're sitting in a chair. Arms come out. Beautiful. So keep your legs as close as you can. Really glue those inner thighs together. Sit back so the energy goes towards your heels and dig through the heels on the way up. Lock out those hips, push those hips forward at the top. Really squeeze those knees together. And as you go down, draw the belly button in, draw the shoulders down and back. <laughs> it's going by fast, right? Changing the squat variation every single minute keeps it fresh, keeps us challenged. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna do a hover squat. I brought a towel out so my knee wouldn't get wet, but my daughter confiscated it. So with the hover squat, take your left knee, go down, hover at the bottom, but don't really touch, right? And then come up. So it's like a single leg squat because you hover at the bottom and up. Maybe your toes touch slightly, maybe not. And up, whew, down and up. I like this one because it has an element of balance, which challenges those core muscles to work even more. And what's gonna help you with your balance is find a spot in front of you to focus and concentrate on. And if you need a little bit more help, it's okay to hold onto the chair, the back of the couch, anything to help stabilize yourself. What's the matter? What's the matter? Do you want the towel on? Maybe daddy can help. Whew, maybe mommy can help now. You want it on? There you go, beautiful. Okay, same thing other side. So bend that knee, single leg squat, and you hover at the bottom and up. Did it fall off? Bring it to mommy and I'll help you. Pick it up and bring it to mommy. There you go, keep going. Down and up, down and up. Mommy wants to help, bring it to me. You can do it, pick it up. Are you so frustrated? going everybody wrap it around so you don't lose it there you go hover and up nice and slow control balance you can do this come on okay sumo squats are next so you're gonna start with the regular squat and as you come up, you're gonna alternate lifting the legs out to the side. So down, extend, down, extend. There you go. As you bring that leg up to the side, lift it as high as you can, but try to keep straight through your torso. You wanna avoid leaning over like that, right? Use those core muscles to stabilize and really isolate the outer hips there and the outside of the glutes. Nice work, you got it. Keep it going, keep it going. We can do this. A squat pulse is next. Those squat pulses are killer. They really burn out the thighs. So enjoy this. Get a nice big full range of motion. Try to drop to parallel to the ground every time. Shake it out, quick 10 seconds. So it's a pulse squat. Again, 
your average squat position, feet shoulder width apart, toes going straight forward, sit back, try to get to parallel, and pulse. Nice. So weight is evenly distributed in your feet. Your feet are flat, but think about really driving the energy up through your heels to get a little bit more glute work. And again, shoulders back, abdominals in. Nice. And if you find that you're arching your back extra, think about tucking that tailbone under, finding really good alignment. We have 20 more seconds to go. Hang in there. Okay. We're almost there. You can do this. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Since my towel was stolen from me, I'm gonna grab one of my sandbags here to protect my knees, because we're gonna do a prisoner squat. What that means is, put your hands behind your head. Go down to your knee, knee, now stand, stand. Now the other knee goes down first. Knee, knee, stand, stand. If you have knees that are sensitive, then roll up your mat or a nice thick towel. Or maybe instead of going all the way down, you're just going to repeat regular squats for this one. That's okay. Knee, knee, up, up, down, down, up, up. So think about keeping your elbows wide. All right? Get a little extra contraction right in between your shoulder blades in the back there. Almost there. Nice work. So that is it. That is our 11 minute squat workout that you can use as a preemptive strike against the over 3,000 calories you're probably going to eat on Thanksgiving. It just takes a little bit of effort every day to stay fit for the holidays, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, everybody. Thank you.